If you have been watching these videos on how to source the deals, how to have the quality conversations with a distressed property owner, but here is the secret sauce of the wholesaling business. This is the difference between making $2,000 a deal and making $20,000, $30,000, $50,000 a deal. And the number one thing is how big and robust is your cash buyer database. I'm gonna show you how to grow your database so that you've got the absolute biggest, best buyers in town. Here we go. It's Brent Daniels here and there is nothing sexier to a cash buyer than these three words, off market opportunity. Okay, that is the sexiest like string of words that they can hear because they are tired of dealing with the competitive nature of trying to get deals from the MLS or from the multiple listing service or what we would call the market, okay? So you as a wholesaler, you, your job, what wholesaling is, is basically going out and finding the best opportunities in the market that aren't on the MLS. These are properties that nobody else knows about because you're out there sourcing them. So when you're, when you're having conversations with potential cash buyers, you need to mention those three words, off market opportunities, off market properties, okay? That's number one. Now let's talk about how to find these people. There's a lot of different avenues and the biggest mistake I see with new wholesalers is they they sell the properties to the same people over and over and over and over. I did it for the first two years. I sold to the first 10, my, my best 10 buyers over and over and over and you know what they did? They would beat me up on price, they knew that they were getting a smoking deal and I, I, couldn't, I couldn't find, they were like only fix and flip buyers or they were also wholesalers that were taking my deals and marketing them up even more and making a profit on that. So I'm telling you, if you're going to be serious about this business and start getting into those big checks, the 10,000, the 15,000, the 20,000, you gotta have at least, listen to me, at least 500 cash buyers and I want you to build it up to 5,000, and I'm gonna show you how. Okay, number one, the best cash buyers in town are gonna to be at your foreclosure auctions. Okay, go down to any of your foreclosure auctions, usually they are at the courthouse steps, and have a conversation with the people bidding on those properties. Now don't interrupt them while they're bidding on properties, okay, don't do that. Wait till the auction's over, or it's lunchtime, or it's in between auctions, and then go and talk to them. The conversation goes like this. Hey, I am out there in the marketplace every single day and being super proactive. I wanted to know if when I get an off-market opportunity, if you want me to reach out to you. Yes. Number two, find real estate agents that flip properties. This is so easy to do. Go on Zillow or Trulia or Redfin and look for properties that have recently been remodeled and are getting flipped. Okay, these are properties that you know are flips because they're staged, nobody lives there, and more, more likely than not, the person flipping it is the agent. Okay, people get the real estate aid license just to flip properties for themselves. So go after those people. When you're driving around for dollars, look for big dumpsters. Look for renovations that are already getting, or that, that are already started, and go in and talk to the general contractor. Oftentimes they own the property. If not, they'll put you in contact with the owner because they always want to find the next deal. Okay, when you're talking to the agents that have these properties listed and flipped, say congratulations, the, the, your product looks unbelievable, or you're looking to buy more in, the, in this zip code, in this neighborhood, in this market. That will help you build those people up. Next, talk to your title companies or your closing attorneys and ask them this question. Who do I need to know? Who's buying the most properties right now that I need to reach out to that'll bring you more business, Mr. Attorney, Miss, Mrs. Title and escrow officer, and we can bring all these deals to you, but who is the best buyer right now that is actually closing deals and getting things done? Okay, have that conversation with the title company and your escrow officer. Next, go to LinkedIn. This is crazy. Listen, I went to LinkedIn starting about 
I, I did this five years ago. I started calling on anybody that was in there that said investor, real estate investor, or contractor, or fix and flipper, or whatever, owns a real estate investing company. I would reach out to them, I would DM them, and if they had a number, I would call them. I made one call, I've sold over 50 properties to one buyer in that. I've made almost a million dollars selling to this one buyer just from one call on LinkedIn. Go to Craigslist. Go to Craigslist, see everybody that has postings out there that are talking about wholesaling properties or selling properties or we buy houses, that type of thing. Oftentimes those are wholesalers, which is fine, but sometimes those are flip, fix and flippers. Okay, so make sure you go to uh, your, your local Craigslist, look for the people that are saying we buy houses and reach out to them. When you're driving around town, which we're taught to do, that they're driving for dollars, look for the signs on the street that says, we buy houses or house for sale. This, the, you, you see all these bandit signs all the time. Reach out to those people, okay? Those people are great for your cash buyer database. Also, here is a key, key, key. You gotta build up your agent database. Now we talked about the ones that were doing fix and flips, but you can literally go to Dr. Bill's real estate list Okay, Dr. Bill's real estate list. Put that in Google and you can find the information, the contact information for every agent in your town. Reach out to them, either pick up the phone and call them if it comes with a, uh, with a, a phone number or email them and ask them if they wanna be put on your buyer's list. If they want you to reach out when you have a what? Off market opportunity. Those are the most beautiful words in this business. Build it, build it, build it. That's gonna get you, listen, that's gonna get you to 100 or 200 or 300 people in your database. You gotta keep building it. And then what you do, this is the secret, secret, secret sauce. You trade that list with somebody in your market that has the same size list as you. After two or three or five trades, you've got a thousand buyers, you've got 2,000 buyers, you've got 3,000 buyers. You, all you do is you talk to somebody at any of your RIA groups, any of your investor association groups, any of your real, real estate investing meetup groups, and just talk about trading lists. It's mutually beneficial because listen, nobody has a secret buyer that they only have and nobody else has. That's just garbage. Don't believe that lie. Okay, your database is great, I get it, but trade it up and keep those people hungry by sending them all the deals that you're finding from TTPing, from talking to people, from picking up the phone and finding those opportunities. So this is a quick video, but I'm telling you, if you build your cash buyer database, it took me from doing deals from $8,000 a deal to $12,000 a deal to now over $20,000 a deal because I have a more robust buyer base. And everybody out there that's saying, no, 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 I've got great, I've got five or 10, I'm loyal to them, they love me, that's great. Here's the best thing, when you have a huge buyer database, you can still sell to those people and give them priority, but they have to sell, they have to buy it at your prices. They will come up in price, I'm telling you. We still sell to the big buyers, but now they respect us because they know that we have other options. When buyers know you don't have any other options, that's when you lose. That's when you start getting, you start getting the anxiety of that motivated seller that you just locked up a deal for. You start inheriting that anxiety that they have because you're worried about selling it. It is absolutely critical as you're going out there getting the best deals in the market you get the most amount out of every single deal the only way to do that is to build up your cash buyer database take this video write some notes get some action items and get going building your cash buyer database until next time love you talk to you soon see ya